day seven and it is already hot it's about eight o'clock in the morning humid is horrid not sure how far we're gonna get try and explore the more of the north part of Onaping. we'll see it's gonna be hot we're slow and steady what you doing Richard <laughs> sleeping sleeping <laughs> Morning stretches before we hit the water. Oh, big stretch. It's raining. <laughs> Are you hot? <laughs> Not anymore, it's raining. <laughs> Northern arm of Onaping Lake. We're supposed to be going that way. We're headed towards this rocky island for no apparent reason. Nice sandy spot. Time for lunch. How long have we been paddling? Two and a half hours. Oh, okay, time to stretch. Oh, moose tracks. Too shallow. Time for a swim. Day seven. Campsite for the night. Beautiful view, beautiful spot. Awesome sight. Huge. You got all this, and then you can even walk through here. And you come across a cliff over here. Another island next to us. Nice. And then you can go over here. Brings you to more views on the other side of the island so you can see the sunrise and the sunset. Awesome. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Canoes all set up. And the tents all set up. We didn't set up the tarp today because there's no bugs. And Richard's making dinner! Yay! I'm hungry! So, Nancy, how was your trip so far? <laughs> Gee, Richard, I think it's been pretty good. Did you have a real good time? I or just a normal good time? A very awesome good time. <laughs> oh, a nice easy day. Tomorrow will be harder. Going this way.
I'm not looking forward to that. Against the wind. Against the wind. We need that tune. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Bob Seeger! Signing out. What time is it? 7.18 Woohoo! Oh, day 8 I think, yes? Yes Okay And where are we headed again? Around the corner And then where? Home, James <laughs> Twisted Lake Sister Lake. <laughs> Go through what? Fair, Fair Baron? Fair Baron? Yeah, Fair Baron Lake. <laughs> Fair Baron? Fair Baron, yeah. And then Green Bay? Green Valley, yeah. <laughs> and then Twisted Sister Lake. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have this conversation again. <laughs> okay. sign probably marked by Explore the Backcountry people because they were through this area a couple of years ago. Left and right.
water in here. In the water, push. 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 Oh, in the water. Positioning. Push. came from there and now we're going it's so muddy and shallow from a beaver dam we are now trying to get over there and we're dragging the canoe ah we'll get there i can see the water how long have we been at this hours <laughs> too <Days>. long <laughs> i went out Whew. we made it not without a little mud. Somebody's having a bath in the water tonight. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's do it naked. I thought you were taking me on a canoe trip. Not dragging the canoe. Oh, I want to get in water. We made it. I want to eat some of these white roses. It's supposed to be so delicious. I want to fire that beaver. Not. I want to fire the beaver. He did a horrible job. I want to fire the bow man because we're sitting in here being eaten alive. <laughs> okay. Quick paddle after we took our canoe for a hike. First portage of the day. Straight ahead somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, yuck. Not the nicest portage, but we're out, leaving this behind. Next, first portage, 150 meters. Second trip, and then we're done it. Okay, portage number two, 400 meters. And actually, at the start of this portage, over here, this is a campsite, but we're not staying here. We're gonna keep going. Huh. So yeah, definitely cleaned it up. Even less some firewood. Not the best view. Not a bad spot. If you had to stay here. Oh no, I don't want to go through that. Oh, we'll go around. to find the trail again. There we are. We 
end of portage number two for the day. Or should I say three, since we have to count that, I don't know, swamp we dragged the canoe through. And we're headed that way for, I think, portage number three before we get to a camp for a break. Decide if we're going to stay or not. Back for load number two. Definitely is a nice, well-maintained trail used Except for that little spot we had to go around. It is very nice. And this is what we're portaging around. This little waterfall hidden behind there. Now he sees us. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> doesn't even care. <laughs> Is amazing. Spot there, but there's no marks. You said it was only 90, 50 meter portage. It doesn't look very flat though. Mr. Beaver, do you know where we're supposed to be going? Uh oh, clouds are getting darker. Let you know. Try the other side again. You don't want to go that way? We can set up camp here in the water. <laughs> oh no! We can get caught in the rain. Let's try and find this portage. So this is an adventure. Richard's way over there. There's been no signage of a trail and it should be somewhere we think over there but the water levels are so low we can't get over there. We already canoed along the shoreline there. There's nothing. This is where we saw the moose though. It was beautiful that way. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. We'll see what we get. A little Marco Polo thing. I'm staying with the canoe because of course we're starting to get dark skies. And it's raining on me. Ah, our canoe's getting wet. I'm getting wet. Rich is way over there. Anyways, this will end. Just not sure when. Oh no! Oh no! Those are big raindrops. I'm melting. Maybe the moose will come back. But based on all my screaming, I doubt it. Whoa! I don't want to fall in that, that mud. Richard already sunk. Ah! All right, so Richard's gone. I hear something over there in the forest. It's either Richard or it's a bear. Hmm, I'm here all by my lonesome. Anybody out there? Come back. Hmm. Just sitting here on the canoe. Waiting for Richard to come back. Here's all there. Didn't want it to blow away. Moose was over there. Maybe he'll come back. It's been about 15 minutes since Richard left. Oh, this 
hanging out. Oh, I think I see him in the distance. He's behind the bush right now. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Yay, there he is. But I'm guessing based on where he's walking, this is going to be a slog. That's okay. We're already muddy from the first portage. Or you might have bad news and he just gave up and we're stuck here. Oh no! Oh no! And it's supposed to pour down rain tonight. Now we'll get out. I think. I hope. How you feeling Richard? Oh you're muddy. I'm a little dirty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we're walking through. On the edge. Oh no, the wind's picking up. Holy crap. That way. We need to go that way. But we can't get to the trail. Holy. Good thing we got this log to hang on to. Holy crap. I should clean my boots. Oh, the rain drops are cold. All right. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, I can get out now. Oh, those are pellets. Holy crap. Okay. This is technically an alternate trail, or trail because there's no water over yonder. That's just a pond where the moose was walking. So we're going this way. And it is a mess. Sinking, sinking. Whew. There's no sign at this end. Well, we already did the first carry. And there's definitely some signs at the other end. But I'll talk about that when I get to the other end. Anyways, let me try and get out of this. Put some logs there. Small trees. Still go that way. Some people must have put in or taken out when the water was higher. There's no way we can get through that. It is all, all mud. Too deep. Too difficult to step in. Not badly marked. Once you get on the actual trail, this isn't a bad at all. That is what we're going around. A log jam. Is that the last portage? Yes, it is. Woo! camp arrived around four o'clock left our morning campsite at 7 15 so about a nine hour trip today big day lots of pulling and heaving of the canoe nice shoreline though here our boats are tr boots are trying to dry out but that's not gonna happen we have sunshine for the moment but that is coming our way over there it's nice and clear. So we'll see what'll happen later tonight. But for now, we have sunshine. And it looks like an old fire pit here. Beautiful rocky beach. Made camp. <sighs> Bug net is up. 
Not that the bugs are out, but the tarp's nice and the netting helps hold the tarp down. Canoe's already secured and out of the way. Decided to put the tent over here and it's ready to go. Sleeping bags, pillows, and the morass are all done. A nice view out back this way too. Richard's trying to make dinner with all the wind happening. Potatoes, beef, and veggies on the menu. Mm -hmm. Poor Richard. You like ants? N not really. <laughs> there's going to be extra flavor ants. Yeah, there's a lot of ants. There's a lot of ants on all the campsites here. Yeah. I don't like ants. You have no table. This is a true campsite. Camper campsite. Not a fishing lunch spot with a table. That's okay. Hmm. Nice spot for an evening walk. Evening. Everything's all cleaned up, ready to go. Tent is ready. Good night. <laughs>